Hello, everybody. So I'm going to show you basically how I made the most out of Music Coin, because I discovered it, and to me, it was mind-blowing and pretty clear to me that I had a new standard in front of my eyes. So here we go. Okay, oh, that's me. <laughs> okay, so who am I? Uh, I'm a multi platinum music producer, contributed to three Grammy nominations. I'm also a coder. I actually created a video game that is paying me each time the game is played at no cost to the player, thanks to Musicon. I'm also a social media expert with 500,000 followers online. Uh, I've been a mentor, speaker for a lot of top education companies around the world related to music mostly. And I'm involved with highly disruptive uh, projects in general from Hyperloop transportation technologies in transportation or even SpaceX. Okay, let's be serious for a second. Do you know who that is? Not really. That's me in the music industry a few years ago. So I felt that I had a bunch of nonsense in front of me, honestly. Uh, it takes forever to get paid. We get paid nothing. Uh, there's a massive trust issue between players in the music industry. People don't really don't trust themselves. Uh, it's pretty much impossible to make a living for most, that's for sure. Even for signed artists, I constantly uh, remind my friends that, um, or even like artists who want to make a career, that I have 15 of my friends uh, who are some of the biggest songwriters in the United States who got signed as artists, and let me tell you, they have nothing going on. They don't make a living. I'm still wondering to this day what labels are doing for them. I look at their social media, there's no evolution. I'm like, this is, this is no sense. It needs a major description. So I was in that circle, obviously working with a lot of people, but I had a really hard time to find people willing to evolve. So what do you do when you're stuck in a circle that doesn't move? Well, you get out fast and you find people who are actually willing to embrace change and disruption entrepreneurs. So I live in Los Angeles and I got pretty lucky to be around people. I had to share this. So I made a video, it's online, it's been uploaded a year ago, you can go check it out if you want. Um, so what's so revolutionary about it? So when I found out about that I was like, wait a second, I need to dig deeper into that and really understand uh, what's going on. So let me take a look this way actually, so that I can read better. <coughs> So the first thing that is extremely cool if there's like some composers or artists here is that uh, thanks to the smart contract, each time somebody presses play on the player, all the co-writers of the song get instant payment. If you know the pain it is to have to wait for months and years if you have a song placed in Korea with an artist or whatever, it takes forever, it takes years. This is instantly. And this is, it, it's happening now, it's not a, a project, it's happening now. Um, if you share a link of your song on social media, on Twitter for example, if somebody presses play on that link, you're paid instantly as well. It's pretty cool. You get unlimited tips from listeners. So if you develop the concept of super fans, if you are an artist, um, you probably do pretty well because they are definitely super fans are really really willing to help and they will definitely tip you. We know that the Twitch model works really well. Um, you can that's very important. Uh, I go back to the, the problem of trust and blockchain by definition solve the trust problem. You can verify every single transaction as they happen. That's to me that's huge. That's really huge. Uh, it's possible to interact with artists directly on their page. They can actually uh, thank you <laughs> when uh, 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 they comment on your page. You can thank them by just clicking a button and you send back uh, some of the comments or stuff like that. So it's like, uh, it's pretty cool. You know, like, yeah, hey, thanks for saying hi. And you send back a, a comment, for example. It's pretty cool. And it's free to use, free to listen. I'm not going to talk about that because Isaac explained the mining stuff. It's all related to mining. 
So that's pretty much it for that. Um, but there's more. That's actually a video game I created. So the story behind it is that I was getting more into computer science and coding. And one great way to uh, uh, get good at that is just to uh, do experiences and create video games, for example. So I was like, oh, wait a second, I'm doing a video game, but there's going to be some music too. Oh, wait a second, I'm using music coin. How can I combine both? And that's exactly what I did. And how? Well, every single artist has access to that on music coin. This is like an embedded music player, very basic stuff. Uh, so what I did, the little trick is that I took that code and did it on autoplay. And basically, each time somebody plays my game in the browser, that triggers a stream from MusicCon and I'm paid instantly. That's pretty much it. So that's a proof of concept. You know, that's it. So that's how I monetize my little game. Sure, it's like, you know, that paying crazy amounts, but hey, think about if actually MusicCon becomes a leader in the new world, well, that little, little amount will become quite something. Um, that's also a hint towards the MusicCon API because uh, who is familiar with the API concept here? I guess we have some developers and stuff, not that many. Okay, API is just the fact that if you are a coder developer, you can connect to that technology and build stuff on top. So for example, for me, when the API from MusicCon is going to be open, I will be able to keep developing that and say to people, hey, go play my video game, and if you finish the game, you will earn, uh, you will win a thousand music coins, for example. That's totally possible. So that's going to be what's possible with the music coin API. And to me, as an artist, creating that kind of stuff, it's really just embracing creativity. As artists, by definition, we are creative, and I just combine all the things that I really enjoy to show that that's possible now. It's been online for almost a year. That's it, you know. So you can do the same, for example, so back to the embedded music player. You can think about how you can monetize any web page with this music coin player. Basically, think about you have a friend who is a visual artist, he wants to put the stuff on the web page, he wants to monetize it uh, as well. Well, you can, for example, you can make a deal with him and be like, hey, I'm going to put some of my, my, my music on that page, we're going to use the music on player, and we can decide to do a smart contract. I want to really point out that it's very important, uh, that a lot of people still have a program understanding. Spotify, Apple, of course, they pay you in euros, dollars, whatever, uh, government-backed currencies. Music on pays you in digital currency, okay? And it's called music. You have Bitcoin, you have Ethereum, our currency is called music, that's it. Lots of people also wonder how you transfer that to real money. Uh, well, there's a website called Bitrex, where there is right now people selling and buying music. Uh, that's it. If you want to convert that to euros, no problem. You send your converted bitcoins to uh, Coinbase. There's tons of other websites, you, up to you to do your research. And you, co you can use that to actually transfer that into real money, as people say. <laughs> and um, so yeah, that's the most important. So we know that cryptocurrency is not popular right now because we are in a bear market. Well, let me tell you, uh, that's when traders, the smart money is put to work. That's not when people get excited by stuff. When people, the crowd get excited by stuff, that's when smart money sells.